Item six, we'll start with roll call. Uh, do I have Mr. Bedard? Yes, present. All right, Councilwoman May? Present. Mr. Candy's absent. Mr. Marsh? Uh, which one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Brian Marsh? Present. Oh, which one? Yeah. Councilman Lanzer? Present. Myself, Mr. McCarthy. Uh, Mr. Limbacher? Present. Uh, Mr. John Marsh? Here. <laughs> Mr. Seldenwright? Here. Mr. Hubbard? Red? No, I'm, I'm taking red. She's sick. Okay. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Schwartz? Mr. Sig? Ms. Galda? Uh, Mr. Loudermilk? Yes. And I do not uh, see the mayor nor Mr. McAdear here today. Um, Meeting minutes uh, were uh, included in the packet today here. Um, take a moment to look over those if you've not, and then uh, I'll take a motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve. Thanks, I'll second that by saying they're uh, well done, too. <laughs> All right, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. We'll turn it over to Larry for the airport restaurant report. Um, actually, there's no report this time because last time uh, we were a month, I was a month ahead. So because we had our meeting later in the month, I had that month already. So. All right. We'll turn it over for the uh, airport manager report. Mr. Limbach, or do you have anything to report on their behalf? Uh, no, I just got uh, the monthly for the 100 low lead is at 983.29. Uh, the JEDA is at 796.96, uh, which is up 522.26 from the previous uh, year to date. Uh, the 100 low lead is actually up 342.32 year to date difference. Uh, hangar rents collected. 2,540 uh, maintenance fees 21 at uh, $525 and courtesy car was used twice. It looks like historically we've gone ahead and I'm done a motion to approve both the uh, income record as well as the field inspection. Uh, I see we've got the field inspection included as well at the packet. Mm -hmm. um, or here, you could probably. I guess my question is, I know at the last meeting we had some discussion about the floor tiles. Do we want to have that discussion now or do we want to wait uh, till the uh, old business section of uh, tonight's meeting? I'd say probably wait because like I told people, floor tiles are minimal to the stuff that needs to be done in there. You know, okay. that, that's just part of the big puzzle that needs to be you know, worked on and fixed up and beautified. So I would say just, just wait. Did everybody get a chance to get down there and look at that, or did you? Yeah. Yeah. I like mean, the ceiling tiles need done. You know, a lot of the furniture in there needs updated. The structure around <coughs> the whole, you know, the door from the from the actual airport, the, the apron, it it needs attention because it's leaking and whatnot. So, and to kind of update the new guys and stuff. The uh, infrastructure bill uh, is going to allow us to pay for some of that or most of that. So, it's extra money on top of. So that's why we're looking at just a complete re remodel down there at the airport. Update the bathrooms. Yep. Yeah. Handicap accessible. At least yeah. one of them. Yeah. At least one. Uh, of them. Yeah. But there's a lot, a lot of stuff that needs fixed up. To make lounge. it. Yes. Yeah, a lot of it's way outdated. And, but uh, there's also a quote I gave Larry for Hicks roofing. The other day, whenever it rained real hard, water was coming in one of the light fixtures, and that was after Hicks had come in and, and redone the roof. But they went up there and looked, and that's coming from a different area. It's coming down from the chimney where it came in inside and was leaking down there. So he has a quote for them to fix Hicks roofing to fix that over here. So Yeah, it's a quote for $8,125. And it, has it ever leaked like that before? I haven't seen it unless it leaked other places. And with them fixing that, it had to find another route in. Which it could have, you know, because it never really rained like that since. Yeah. It might have went down an existing other direction until they finally fixed the problem. Now that, oh, now where am I going to run? So, yeah. Yep. I can't remember. We, did, we, we said we were going to do that after we get the. Correct. Our, our uh, 
final budget oh, for the yeah. city. Yeah. You, yeah. What do, what do they have to do for eight thousand dollars? That's I don't know. It's, it's all it seems like a lot of money. There. After just having a brand new roof put on there. It doesn't really. Remove and dispose of existing chimney down to the roof line and then cap it with a fabricated fabricated piece of metal. After the chimney is done, we will then encapsulate the severely deteriorated brick with wall with uh, fiberite material. We will then terminate the fiber tile wall piece into the new fiber tile roof, provide and install all system accessories and flashings required by manufacturer's written specifications as needed to complete a watertight roof system. Take photographs of the condition, document the size and scope of the work, blah, blah, blah. So that was it. Catch all that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it must have been. Yeah. When they fixed the roof, it just a lot more damage. Than yeah. When they forced it in. It, and it's got the, it's water. It's going to run somewhere. Exactly. Just found another way. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think that was all that was I gave you there, right? Yeah, that was okay. all. Yeah, the other page isn't. Really okay. Yeah, uh, Red and them called and had everything lined up there about having them come out and look at that, and Eric did so. But that was just what they put in a packet here to deliver you guys. So we're doing for us. We're we waiting until we get the full budget, or what are we? Yeah, until we get. Yeah, until we get our, we, we know the money's going to be there. We just got to get it, get it passed before right. the money's actually. How there. how do we have a timeline? Well, uh, we have to have the budget passed by the end of the month. So okay. So by next month, month yeah. meeting, we'll be able to do something. Because okay. they could probably jump on that fairly quick. I'm guessing. If not, we might be able to pull some string to get that done a little quicker. Right. With them right. having an airplane there, so or might reach out to them. That, I mean. That's what we're going to do. It'll probably happen. We just have to wait till so they can kind of yeah. keep that in their back of their mind for their schedule for next month. So we're going to. Temp temporary money in there right now, but we want to make sure we do it after we do our budget here and approve the budget for the year. All right. Any further discussion regarding the uh, airport concerns, safety inspection, and so on and so forth? May I have a motion to accept the uh, airport? I'll make that motion, Mr. Ricardo. Thank you, Mr. Lanzer. Uh, second? I'll second. Thank you, Brian. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Turning it over to old business. Larry, uh, do we have anything under the monthly revenue update? Yes, the monthly revenue update, um, the cash position balance at the end of February was $20,000. $760.96. The airport may lose the balance. $3,927.81. Airport maintenance right now. Um, Johnson Controls, there's the fire alarm inspection stuff done for $347. And our monthly restrooms at $100. Left a balance of $4,205. So then the airport capital improvement, there was nothing spent, still $5,000. Airport capital improvement maintenance. 5000 because nothing was spent. Airport capital improvement account, 
Nothing, so it's still 5,000. Except the monthly. Revenue update from Larry Loudermilk. Thank you, Mr. Lindbacher. May I have a second? Thank you, Councilwoman. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I didn't ask for any discussion, but is there any discussion? All right. We'll turn it over to Yamini for the uh, Michael Baker uh, updates for the month. Thank you. Um, so I think everyone has my consultant support. Going down the list of updates here, um, no real update on Task Order 6, the Taxi Lane construction project. Still waiting on some resolution for the pay application that they submitted. Um, and the final payment marking is still scheduled to occur sometime in this spring. Uh, we will provide an update to the airport and the city once we know something from the contractor. Task order number eight, beacon replacement. No real update there either. Uh, ship date is still uh, April 15th. Um, once we have a final update from the contractor, we will set up a pre-construction meeting and get going on that. We will provide an update once we do have it. Um, task order number nine, runway lighting replacement. We did open bids today, uh, this afternoon. We received four bids. Um, we do have an apparent low bidder. Um, I will. We will take a look at the bid packet submitted and provide a recommendation of award um, to the city and the commission once we have all once we have all that sorted out. Um, just for a quick update, the bid did come in within our ODOT grant amount, so we should be okay there. And as I spoke, as I mentioned to Larry and Ron, um, the bid the runway lighting design did include two alternates to it. One was an electrical conduit selection between PDC and HDPE. This was provided just so the contractor has some uh, wiggle room as far as like um, the material selection. And so the city also has a say on what material they'd like to select based on the bids received. Um, seems like the PVC was slightly more expensive, but since everything came down to within the grant amount and within the budget, Ron was acceptable to go ahead with the PVC instead of the HDPE. The second alternate was we did go ahead and include the replacement of the runway and identifying lights, since that was not originally intended to be replaced. But ORAD did give a go ahead and said include it as an alternate, and if it comes back within the grant amount, we will try to approve it. It did come back within the grant amount, so that, that's good. And uh, spoke to Ron about that too, and he said that was okay to accept and proceed with that alternate. Um, moving down the list, task order number 11, the taxiway shift financial plan. We do have a draft of that. I will be submitting um, the plan to the city and the commission for review, possibly tomorrow or sometime this week. Um, and on to the miscellaneous items, um, the bipartisan infrastructure law, we did talk about that some, a little bit during the last meeting, and we did go ahead and set up a meeting between the city and Don from the commission, who was also present, to go over what projects we would like the airport and the city would like to, like to include in the updated CIP. Um, as discussed in the last meeting, there was, and I brought up earlier by Josh, there was talk to include improvements for the FBL and uh, adding a new key hanger with the pad. So if you see the CIP that I just passed out, there's two projects highlighted there that shows the new projects included. Um, the first one is the FBO improvements. 
we just talked to the city and the commission and we decided to go with the cost of about $120,000, I think is what it says. Um, that includes the improvements to the public spaces, as Josh mentioned, with the flooring um, in the FBO and the commission room or the kitchen and possibly the restroom. So we did consider that and include that project in the line in the CIP. The other one was as requested in the last meeting was the additional fee hanger, possibly 12 to 14 units that includes a new pad, a new building, and possibly a taxi lane that goes to it as well. Um, so that project, I think, costs somewhere close to $600,000, if I'm not wrong. So those are the two projects included for this year. Um, as I mentioned previously, and I forgot to mention now, the amount is 159000 It's available starting this year. And it goes up to, I believe, five years, so 2028 or 2027. Am I doing that right? No, 2026, sorry. Um, so this year, since there's not as much time to really do anything, we decided along with the city to carry over the 159000 to next year and possibly do the FBO improvements the, fall, the next year and then continue to carry over monies until uh, 2026 where there is enough amount of money built up to do the new fee hanger. Um, so if you have, sorry, I kind of rattled through the whole thing, but in case you guys have any questions on any of what I've just, anything that I've just said, feel free to stop me and question. Okay. Other than other than we should be able to carry over the money that we yes. use, yeah, kind of like we would with the other with the entitlement funds. So, yeah. so. Same thing. So this is, as I mentioned to some members earlier, this is not approved. This is just our proposal on behalf of the city and the commission to send to the FAA. The FAA needs this. The due date is March 11th. So once they review it, I look through it, possibly have some questions, we'll have to see what they come back with and see if they agree with the proposed project. Um, yeah, if there's no other questions, I can move on to my action items and request authorization. But Just real quick, how, yeah. how did you guys come up with those, uh, like the construction cost numbers? So for the FBO improvements, we, I believe Don had an approximate quote from a, a little while ago, he said it costed somewhere around $80,000 or something. Um, so based off of that, we just approximated what needs change and we just came up with the number. It's not exact. Okay. So as we get closer to the date, we'll come up with a better estimate, but we figured this possibly covers everything that needs to be done within the uh, FBO. If it's lesser, that's fine. More money for the fee hanger. If it's more, lesser money for the fee hanger, but hopefully it's not more. Can that money be combined with uh, money from the FAA, like no. the normal money we get? No, because that money cannot be there. used for um, uh, at terminal ha terminal improvements. This is the only pot of money that can be used for terminal improvements. Okay. 